Cutscene! Cutscene! Oh no! Not again! Chaos! Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! No! Froggy? I must say Froggy! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet. Okay, Chaos, destroy them all immediately! Can I just say I really like how Egg Eggman just went? No, Sonic goes, you'll never get away with this, and Eggman's just like, I will! It's just like, okay. It's like someone in like a superhero movie goes, I will destroy you! And it's just, no! Anyway, I don't think, like, Chaos's missing tail has actually ever shown, like, I don't think it's ever shown that, shown Eggman finding it. It's one of them things. I always wondered, isn't, doesn't he just like kind of grow when he gets a Chaos Emerald? I didn't think he needed to find his missing tail. But yeah, I was fully aware I was going to get hit in this boss fight. Boss fight. I almost said boss battle. I was going to say battle and fight at the same time. Which is a bit silly. Yeah. We throw that little egg thing in his mouth and then freeze it. And apparently Eggman can't believe it. And yet, he still carries on throwing the bloody freezy egg thing. Yes, we wouldn't be able to stand a chance against him if you'd stopped throwing the only weapon we have against him at us. Like saying, you'll never be able to escape this room, which is on fire, and then giving them... I mean, throwing fire jackets, fireproof jackets, and bloody fire extinguishers at them. You'll never be able to calm this fire. But here is a complete, easily way of destroying the fire. Aha! 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 But, um, this boss fight always kind of... Excuse me, like... Your Robotnik's egg bombs into chaos I don't see mouth. why he... just goes into this, but you think he could, like before he was like being able to turn into huge, he was just getting bigger and bigger, you think he'd be able to just like turn into something more speedy, he's pretty slow. Good old chaos. I will be doing Sonic Adventure 2 after this one. Just so you know. I'll try to show off as many like as a secret things as possible. Well there's not really secret things, but the secret animals, the uh, chows. I have to get used to saying chows, because for some reason when I was younger I always said Cheo. And that's wrong. But I never really I just thought Chow was like what French people say to say goodbye. I didn't realize it was another thing. And I never really paid attention to anything that like the tutorial said. I keep yawning! I don't want to yawn. Damn it, I'm not tired. Well, I am because Tevin stayed at mine and he bloody woke me up at 7 in the morning. Thank you, Tevin. No, I doubt you're watching this. Aha! 
I really like the music to this. I don't really have much to say because this boss battle is dragging on quite a bit. I think we get. Yeah, I got hit by that because I thought it was just going to be enough one of the jumps where he doesn't cause a quake. And of course, he's going to miss that ring. No way! I can't believe if, if Eggman used his used one of his Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Better weapons like the Egg Hornet or something. With Chaos Six, instead of just throwing those little egg things at us, we'd be able to actually we wouldn't really be able to defend ourselves against him. He'd just be able to completely wipe the floor because we wouldn't one, we wouldn't have the thing able to be able to freeze chaos. And he'd be able to attack us as well better. No way! I can't believe this! Sonic! Hey there, Knuckles! Glad you finally made it! I thought you got lost or something. Until we meet again, Sonic! Stop! Come back here! Let's see what they do like a triple shot of this. But here we are in the Mystic Ruins, which is apparently where Eggman has just been flying over in a loop for the last, like, however long it's been. Uh, I, like I hate Eggman. Eggman. Where's this? That light! I think it's trying to show me something! So now we follow the light, and we can play as big! Not that we'd ever want to, but we can! I really don't see why they put Big in here. He's a nice, he's a good character, but his playing style is just too different from the rest of the game. It could be an optional thing. But I don't think it should be like something you have to do. I was never able to hit them chameleon things. Can I just say that this level reminds me a lot of one of the levels in Sonic 2? It reminds me of that, I can't remember the name of it, it's like the... It is basically just like a ruin. But it's all like... Covered in water and stuff. I'm not sure if this level was... Inspired by that one or what, but... I hate this level as well because... Well, especially this part, I don't really hate the level. I hate that part because you don't know when the fire pillars are going to come out unless you clean through it. So if it's your first time, you won't struggle on this. Which is good, because it adds challenge, but sometimes you're just like... If you go through that sometimes, you can have a really, really Press bad time. To raise the water level. Out. And then we get to ride the smoke, which I think when I was trying to record it before, I, named it, I just named it Simon. Simon. Good old Simon. I don't know why I needed to name it, I've never named it before. Something something about recording made me want to name that snake. So now he will forever be known to me as Simon. Thank you YouTube for making me name snake. 
And anyone who's watching, thank you very much for watching. We aren't finished yet, but I thought I'd show my appreciation for not thanking you two. Might as well thank you guys as well. I was trying to hit, get the little um, magnet ball thing. Wait, it didn't go to very bad. I don't remember how many lives I've got. I think I've got 23. I can't really see at the moment. But I hope the quality of the videos are okay. For you guys, I'm trying. To, I'm going to try and get a better microphone when I get the money. Um, because I know this microphone isn't like the best quality. But it could be a lot better. But it's like the best I can. Best I have. I used to have a, another microphone, but you had to be very close up to it, so it was uncomfortable to use while playing at the same time. It was, like, if you were more than a, like, if you were more than 20 centimeters away, it would barely pick you up, you had to be literally right next to it. So it's a bit of a struggle to record while using this. But now we have to attack the fire guy. Let's get the hell out of me when I was recording before it's going to fall off. We get the gorilla! I haven't actually been back to the child guy, but we need to start doing that. I've already done it more in the Sonic Adventure 2, because the child guy in that one is a lot, lot better. This is sad, but I can still remember where the bloody keys are in the first level. Well, I can remember one of them is in the Don't know if there, I can't remember if there's more than one in the level. I know there's at least one per level. And there are a few people I've been watch there are a few people I used to watch on YouTube that really got me into starting recording. Like one of them was Heaven Squadman, I've probably mentioned him before. If you he doesn't he hasn't uploaded for quite a while, but I think that's because like he's busy with his like uni stuff or something, so then again I not gonna like pressure anyone to record, but if he ever gets back then I'd be more than happy to, to, to I know I'd probably watch his videos because his commentary just seems like so natural and just seems like a very friendly commentary if that makes any sense. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a little bit more friendly. Also, Indiana Jones! <gasps> um, that's my <laughs> I didn't even I completely forgot about that until that came up, so I had to try and make some kind of excitement for that. But yeah, he does a lot of old games. Game a lot of, like I think I don't think I've actually really I don't think I'd really heard of any of the games he'd played. He plays games from his childhood, which I've been trying to do a bit. But I think he's older than me, therefore he's got more of a list of games he can do. Whereas me, most of mine are very modern I've played, but I really want to start getting into some more of the old DOS games. Which is what I which is one thing I have been doing. But I really do like do enjoy playing the older games. Just because in a way you can see how much games have changed just in the short amount of time that they've actually been getting made. Which is crazy really when you think about it. About twenty or thirty years ago we were just playing in arcade machines. I think like 20 or 30 years ago, I think you never just come out or something. But when you compare that to now, technology is moving at such a speed, it won't be long until we get virtual reality, which will be bloody cool. Don't get me wrong, it'll make it really difficult for me to record videos because I don't have a clue how I'd record virtual reality plug a wire into my brain and hope for the best. But, um, yeah, all you'd be able to see is me crying on the floor because I just stabbed myself with a wire. But, um, 
It'd be cool. I'd love to get into... There are, there are also other people I watch, obviously, like the Angry Video Game there. He does so good reviews. Like, you know, granted, he's not for everyone. But it just seems so natural. Like, he just seems so confident, comfortable with everything he's doing. Which I think is really, really cool. Yes. But, for me, it's a little bit... I've never really done anything like this. I've never recorded myself, and I've very rarely ever heard my voice. Yeah, so every time bad. I watch my videos back to edit them, it's really weird. But I'll stop ranting and... I, I knew I was going to go off topic. Back on topic. Sonic, Sonic is blue. I'll be quiet now. Wow, what's this? A mural!